Hello, my name is Gustavo Sosa. I'm going to another video from ST Microelectronics. This video is a first part of two short videos where we will explain how to use the text wildcards. Text wildcards are used when the text needs to be changed in live or while the application is running. The project will be screened. On the top, two text with the wildcards showing a voltage value. On the bottom, will be a text sent through UART. In this part, the UI will be created and will configure and include the ADC and the UART to the project. We will use TouchFX 4.17.0, STM32Cube IDE 1.7.0, and a terminal to send and receive through the UART. As hardware, we will use the STM32H735G Discovery Kit with a 4.3 inches TFT. Open TouchFX. Go to Create and find the H735 Discovery Board TVS. Use the latest version, name the project and hit Create. First, we will add a white box as background. Next, to divide the screen, add an image. At the style, select Divider Array Short. Place it at the center following the guides. Now, let's add the text to show the voltage. This text will have wildcards. Add a new text. Place it around coordinates 240 and 40. Add a second text. Place it around the coordinates 240 and 90. Select the first place of text auto named text area 1. Delete the text and add a wildcard using the plus icon. Type a period and add a second wildcard. After the second wildcard, type space and a V for voltage. Click at wildcard 1. We will type the text the wildcard will show by default, number 1 in this case. So we can change the text. We will enable the buffer, and the length will be the characters plus 1, in this case 2. Next, initialize the second wildcard. Add initial text to 3, and buffer length 3. For text area 2, we we'll add the wildcard manually, typing open and close angle brackets and in between a variable name. After the wildcard, type M and V for millivolts. Initialize text area 2 wildcard with default text 1, 2, 3, 4 and buffer length to 5. Now we'll create the bottom part of the screen for the text received by UART. Add a new text. Change the text to type your name and center it around coordinates 192 and 167. Add a new text. Add to it a wildcard. Set the initial text to your name will be here and the buffer size set it to 36. Uncheck auto size. Place the text around coordinate 64 and 205 and resize its width to around 350. Now, we need to set up the characters that could be used by the wildcards, so TouchFX will generate them to be ready in the application. At Text, we will find all the text used in the application. At the left, go to Text, then at the top to Typographies. We can write the specific characters used by the wildcards, or we can specify a range, like all lowercase letters, all capital letters, or numbers. The range can be used according to ASCII coding. Let's look for a range including all letters, numbers, and symbols. Looking at an ASCII table, we can start with exclamation mark and end with a tilde. Fallback character is a character will be used by the application when a character in the wildcard is not recognized. We will leave the question mark, but it can be changed. Return to the canvas view 
and generate code with the button at the bottom right. Now we'll open Cube ID project. Click at the folder icon at the bottom left. Go one directory up. Open stm 32 cube ID folder. Double click at .cproject or .project file. At workspace path pop-up window, click at launch. At successful imported project pop-up window, click at OK. Expand the project tree and with double click, open the IOC file for graphical configuration. We will configure and initialize the ADC and the UART. Let's start with the ADC. Looking at the board user manual UM2679, we have found at Arduino connector, A0 is analog input 10 for the three ADCs. We are going to use ADC1, so ADC1 channel 10. At the left side, expand analog and select ADC1. Select input 10 as single-ended, At ADC configuration, go to the NVIC tab and enable the interrupt. Then at parameter settings tab, look for external trigger conversion and change it to timer 15. Timer 15 will launch the ADC conversions. Now we are going to configure timer 15 as time base and configure it to trigger the ADC. Expand timers. Select timer 15. Enable internal clock. This enables the clock source for the timer. At parameter settings, put a prescaler of 275 minus 1. At master slave, change it to enable. In trigger selection, select update event. This will generate a trigger every time is an overflow. Now we will configure the UART. The ST-Link on this board can be used as bridge between the MCUR to the computer via USB. Searching at the board user manual UM2679, UR3 should be used with pins PD8 and PD9. Expand connectivity. At the right side of the screen on the MCU pinout view, search for PD8, configure it as user 3 tx Search to for PD9 and configure it as user3rx. Now on the left side under connectivity, select user3. At mode, select asynchronous. At parameter settings tab, leave them as they are. Finally, go to MVIC tab and enable the interrupt. Save IOC file with the icon at the top left. At pop-up window asking if want to generate code, say yes. Also, at pop-up window to change perspective, say yes. Finally, at the warning window pop-up related to the free RTOs, click yes to. This is the end of this video. See you at the second part where we will add the code.